Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at this Zycel uh, Wave 2 Dual Radio PoE Access Point. This uh, is 802.11ac Wave 2 Hybrid that supports data rate up to 1.6 gigabits uh, using their um, technology. The actual model is NWA1123ac HD and it's got a few interesting features including cloud management and local management. The price of this one is £159 on Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's just go to power up, see what we can do with it and uh, see how uh, the signal strength is. So first of all, give you a bit of the build quality. It feels very solid, reliable, kind of a nice solid feel to it which is, which is what you want. You can uh, sealing mount it or wall mount it as well. It's power over Ethernet, so you don't need the power supply for it. So if your router puts out PoE, then you can, or your switch puts out PoE, I should say, uh, you can use that. Uh, but it has got power options as well. In the box, as well as all the guides, you get the transformer and the mounting plates, including plasterboard screws, which is quite interesting. Uh, you don't often get those, but you just get the normal raw plugs. And I've got plasterboard in here, so that makes it better for me. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it up now and uh, see what I can do with it. Okay, so I've plugged that in uh, to my uh, home router. It's uh, downstairs, it's sitting about a floor downstairs, and these devices here are in the same location. So, you can see here the Netgear one is a particularly strong one normally. And that's got the same strength. The uh, these other ones have not got the same strength. So it's a, a good uh, signal that the router is putting out. The, the um, access point is putting out. So I'm going to connect to it like that, and then let's just have a quick look at the config. So it's took me uh, to the config page. I just put the IP address in that it gave out. Um, it's actually, was, it's just in the browser, just put 1.1.1.1 one, one 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 in there and it's taken me to that. So I can log in using the default password that's in the game starter guide. Okay. So here's the dashboard, you can see the CPU usage, memory usage, um, some of the configuration settings. You can go into the monitor there and have a look at uh, connected devices. And uh, you can go into configuration and here you can do all your configurations like your network configuration to so your DHCP or whether you want it to give out network addresses you can do AP management you can detect rogue APs as well on there you can do load balancing with other uh, access points and you've got all your configuration like your names and whether you support browsing like we're doing now or SSH into the into the device there's not a huge amount of other options. There's no loads of settings like for access point times or parental controls. That's the kind of thing you get on a home router, but not uh, on this. This is very simple. I just plugged it in and it worked. So there are a couple of features, but I think the main thing is it's, it's simplicity and it's power. It just, just plugged in and it's worked. I'm just going to try a network speed test. I get various speeds depending on uh, the Wi-Fi that I'm, I'm on. So this is giving me 13 meg. I get um, on uh, some of the other routers I can get 40 maybe. If I'm on a wired connection I get 50. So 40 is probably on the high side but uh, this has been pretty consistent and there are other, oh there you go, get that to 30 then. There's other people in the house streaming as well, 31. So this is probably, oh 33, so this is probably the fastest access point that I've got. So uh, that is quite impressive. Uh, I definitely like that. So really the good things about this, I just plug it in, it's worked and um, I've got fast connection speed. You can't really ask for any more than that. There are other uh, management options available but this is really simple you just plug it in and it works pretty impressed with that I do like that uh, this uh, solution so for me it's a simple device you plug it in you get good transfer speeds and it just works there are like I said there are cloud management options you have to download the firmware for that but um, the nebula cloud is called but you 
you know, this is just a great device. You just plug it in and configure it. I know some people I've seen on Amazon saying that you have to do a lot of configuring, but to me, I just found this was straightforward. I just plugged it in and uh, away it goes. Cloud management functions, I guess, are very uh, more interesting to the corporate side, but for me, as a home device, I just plugged it in. So this is the Zycel Hybrid Cloud Wireless Access Point. £159 on Amazon. Excellent signal. Good throughput for data, simple to get working, and plenty of configuration options if you've got a more advanced setup that you want to do. Power over Ethernet as well, so you don't even need the adapter if your uh, switch puts out power. Very handy device, good in a small office or even multiple devices on larger offices. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you need a Wi Fi access point. Thanks for watching this video.